Viewer discretion is advised. Anybody feel like making a Midnight Society joke? <laughs> <laughs> Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society. I've always wanted to do a no views outdoors. Yeah. Have the, the drive-in movie theater, midnight Halloween movie vibe. Yeah. You've compiled yet another list of movies. I have. Movies that I found between one up to about 60 views. Wow, that's low. And the majority is in the one area. Tell me again what your search criteria was. Horror short film minus trailer, because I don't want any trailers. That's a pretty nice filtering system that yeah. they got there. I could just put in the page number in the address bar. I went to page 500 and started looking. <laughs> That's what I did. Great. So this episode will be called Campfire Edition, page 500. <laughs> exactly. So our first one is untitled short horror film. You know, if it's untitled, it almost implies that they uploaded it before it was finished. Yes. It does certainly send that message. A man seeks to comfort his wife as she begins to descend into madness, only to find out that she is hiding a dark secret. This was for a class project. How many class projects do you suppose are on Vimeo? There were two rules. It had to have no dialogue, and I had to do camera, lighting, sound, and post on my own. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts about this project. Let's give them. Yeah. I hope the smoke isn't too ridiculous. It's probably a little ridiculous. See if I can revitalize it a little bit here. It's so smoky. I'm sorry, Frankie. This is about as bad as it could possibly be. <laughs> I know. It didn't get hot enough. It's actually called Untitled, which is a surprise to me. Yeah, that's a little weird, isn't it? <laughs> I thought that, you know, they were being indecisive. But the, they actually chose a title called Untitled. I was, I was shot on some old ass DV cams. Yep. Maybe like school provided DV cams. Are we buffering? I'll tell you what's creepy. <laughs> Smoke flying right into Nina's face. All right. It's fine. Sorry. We got to do something about it. I just don't know what to do. <laughs> Poor Untitled. We're going to spend the whole time talking about the smoke. So, what's going on? It looks like perhaps some kind of intimate encounter between this, this man and this woman. Oh, oh, there's some schizophrenic Googling. episodes worsening. <laughs> well, well, that's a good thing to Google. That might have been a better title than Untitled. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> schizophrenic episodes worsening. That would have been a very good title. Movie worsening. <laughs> <laughs> the definition of schizophrenia, huh? That's the look I have when Nina is big spooning me in bed. <laughs> <laughs> Outright rage. Outright rage. Got it. Now, if the class assignment is to not have dialogue, then what we're meant to experience here is like a very visual story. Yes, and I'm not yet experiencing a very visual story. Like modestly visual? Yeah, it's modestly visual, I'd say. They allowed the hallway light to... Yeah. To do its thing. The schizophrenic episodes in which you click lights off and on. Is that something schizophrenics do? Right. I don't even We know. have an expert. What do you think, Nina? No. <laughs> Nina says no, and I believe her. My wife, she, she keeps clicking the lamp off and on. Google, schizophrenic wife, click lamp on and off. Yes, no. <laughs> Smoke episodes worsening. No views episodes worsening. <laughs> So, so. <laughs> How's about the movie? Um, it's just great. When we came out here to set this up, John and Nina both had headlamps on to find kindling. This has kind of a headlamp vibe. It really does have a headlamp vibe. Yeah. Oh, it's got. A, it's using a phone, of course. This is why. What year around did you start like realizing that your your phone was a permanent replacement for flashlights? Oh, it was like 2016 or so. Really? That late? I, in I the started game. phasing them out. But I still have things like headlamps because the brightness just can't compare. Right. Untitled. Yeah, it's pretty untitled. Yeah, we're going to get jump scared. 
Whoa, her episodes are worsening. What does she got? A PKE meter? I don't know. I don't know what that is, Frankie. USB-C. Yeah. So this wasn't made long ago. No. A logical interface choice, you know? Yeah. It'd be weird if it was like a USB 2. <laughs> USB, like this is the big old square one. Oh, is this videos of the past when things were better and she wasn't quite so schizophrenic? <laughs> it, it looked like a genuine piece of found footage. I wonder if... Um, if they're in an actual relationship or something? Yeah, or like, like did they just do that good of a job? Yeah, like... Um, recreating the... Found home. an actual old camera? Yeah. Set up a whole ass Christmas. Mm-hmm. <sighs> well... <laughs> Amidst all the boringness, someone died. <laughs> <laughs> did the did the wife die? Or is he just lamenting the fact that she's going insane? Is he the schizophrenic? That's what I was also wondering too, Nina. Like Halloween trope. Oh. Like the schizophrenic is me. Oh yeah, that's what she it is. She doesn't yeah. exist. He's like, I was clicking the lamp off and on. My episodes were worsening. Maybe he doesn't have a wife at all? Well, no, he's looking at footage. Or maybe he's not with her anymore. He Probably. killed his wife? Oh. Oh, we'll never know. The truth is, it's untitled. Unfinished. <laughs> Unfinished. I mean, tighten yourself up, first of all. If you're trying to tell the story visually, make it a little more visually interesting. Yeah, like maybe get some lenses, maybe like... Yeah, um, try to do something more interesting with the frame and the field. Some motivated lighting. Probably like come up with a little bit more of an original concept other than like, I'm the crazy one and I'm too crazy to recognize it. I thought the concept was okay. Yeah? Yeah. You haven't seen that a trillion times? I've only seen it a couple hundred thousand times. <laughs> It's something all these movies are going to have against them is they're too short to do anything. Yeah. But, you know. Do you want me to just get a hose and... I was getting a little too smoky. We defired. It was a nice idea. We didn't have a smoke management device. That was the problem. There's now a fan in the middle of the woods. <laughs> yeah. uh... It's a smoke management device. <laughs> Shout out for the popcorn, by the way. We're, we're eating local popcorn, kettle and movie theater style. It's delicious. I think it's the best pre-pop popcorn you can get. You never really get it hot at the movie theater anyway, do you? Very rarely. This next one's called Binge. A portly ombre <laughs> submits to a midnight feast indulgence that might keep him up with more than just indigestion. I always think, how weird would it be if you made one of these No Views movies and you actually saw it, like, featured on this stupid show? It would be weird. <laughs> That 60 FPS yeah, or whatever the hell. Yeah, certainly, it certainly doesn't make it look particularly cinematic, does it? And, um, you know, the, the spotlighting with the, I don't know, I'm guessing bedside lamp. Yep. Oh, nice. Oof. That's a shot for the, for the ages. <laughs> That's a shot for the DVD cover. <laughs> so far, we have an unappealing subject with unappealing visuals. Yes, <laughs> that we can barely see. <laughs> They would have been better off blowing smoke in front of the, the screen. Yeah. Just light a mediocre fire. In the refrigerator. <laughs> some harsh refrigerator lighting. Yeah, like, could you balance it a little? Is there some kind of yogurt threat? Is this like, a, or maybe it's ice cream. Oh, like the stuff? Yeah, I was gonna say, is this like the stuff? But he got it out of the fridge, not the freezer. Continuity director, where are you? I don't know, but they're really covering it. <laughs> have you seen how many times it's cut? Wait. <laughs> They've got at least four angles on it. Up here, down there, to the I mean, side. It is the binge, it is the subject matter. The cover on it, like it's a football game. I don't know if I'd consider like a carrot any part of a binge. Or for that matter, any part of a movie. <laughs> is this the, are we just Mystery Science Theater yeah. now? Because <laughs> I don't object. You gotta watch him eat and listen to us eat. Yeah, it's like in stereo. And <laughs> Quadraphonic surround sound. I I'm calling it now. Like we're not tonight. We're not focused on being constructive. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very nice. Hello, ma'am. Hi. How are you? I think less would be more with this particular. <laughs> So, I, I think hanging on her and then cutting to many angles. So let's get this right, <laughs> okay? The guy <laughs> wakes up, he's a little hungry, goes down to the fridge, 
Has a couple snacks. Yeah. And then not even that much of a binge. I say eat all the carrots you'd like. Yeah. As many as you want. I mean, really, I've put that to shame. I know you have. I know you have. <laughs> I would say more coverage, please, next time. Can we get a couple more angles? And you know what? Despite how much coverage there is, I didn't really get a good look at the fridge. No. I don't know what brand it was, what era it was from. Or in, in the contents within. Yeah. He woke up to a shot of his waist. And he walked downstairs. It was covered like crazy. Then someone went... <laughs> Yeah, exactly. We don't have any stairs in our house. If I had to go downstairs to get a late night snack, I would never. Never. I think we might have a weight loss plan for you. <laughs> Butcher is a short horror film produced for a live music and dance performance show at City of Bath College, November 09. Okay. I'm excited about that. I want to see something from 09. 09. That was a very different era. Breakfast. Breakfast, very boringly lit. <laughs> well, it was 2009. You're right. I, I guess we have to judge it in that context. It's amazing. <laughs> that reminds me of the good old days when you would, somebody would bring a spoon up to their mouth and the camera would follow it. <laughs> Was that a stylistic thing? I think that when you first start making movies, there's a compulsion to kind of always keep the, the moving thing. Yeah, I don't think you learn that like action can exit and enter frames and. No clues or evidence or any of the missing people have been found. If you know of anything, please contact the police on the special helpline. Is this, oh, this is English. Yeah, because they were talking about BAFTAs. Bash. Took a big BAFTA. Oh, a little shaky cam there. <laughs> this guy's very, like, generically British attractive. It's a shaky dog there. I appreciate the small dog. I, I've probably said this a million times, but I had a professor who used to say, if it's if the you know if the subject is really large on screen, yep, you're signaling to the audience that it's important. And if it's really small, you're signaling that you know they're part of something much bigger than themselves. So like shots of just like the dude's face and walking backwards covering his face yeah. is like, am I supposed to be getting a performance moment here? Like, what am I supposed to be receiving from this shot? The timpanis have arrived. Nice. <laughs> and left. Hop 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 hop. You ever played a timpani? Only like, you know, for fun during like band performances. Oh, here comes John. <laughs> A little bombastic, isn't it? For this. Cut. There you are. It's like mostly hay. And then the camera gets picked up. <laughs> I would have maybe like, you know, left it there. How did he lose his shirt? Mom! Or oh, we lost part of his shirt. <laughs> the poor 180 rule. <laughs> uh, maybe they didn't have it in 2009. Nonsense to the 180 rule. It hadn't made it to Britain yet. Yeah, they are, you know, in a different part of the world, maybe. Why did he fall into a corner? The axis just isn't there. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's in like Celsius degrees. <laughs> this is a bath college. Did you say that this is a bath college or something? I like the, the slow fake punch that, uh -huh. that cut hard to black. <laughs> yeah. Ah! Oh. No! Wow, little peaky. Just to put it in perspective, we had released Abo two years prior to this film being made. Now, by the time we shot Sexually Frank in 2010, that was with a 7D. Yep. So this, like, DSLR started to come out right after this. So yeah, you might say that 2009 was kind of a turning point. Yeah. Do you remember we shot a movie kind of like, yeah, not like this per se. I'm getting like some shot vibes from that, like from... the Almy Al Farm. Yeah, the Almy Farm. <laughs> Calm down, Sam. <laughs> like heartbeats? Do we have heartbeats in it? I did not direct that movie. I was just I know. present. This you one you didn't present. direct? I didn't direct the, this uh, British uh, horror film. A butcher was a big piece of shit. It sure was. Better or worse than Untitled? <laughs> Better. <laughs> At least it had a small dog. Up next, we have Teddy Bear, a short horror film. Just wanna be your teddy bear. You might want to polish up on some of your keyframes, but you're nearly there. So, was this the same reference you used for your character design project? 
Uh, yeah, my dad got it for me when he was on a work trip in Chicago. Aww. So it represents like a happy memory between you and your dad? Um, if it's a happy memory, it's the only one. Yeah, we weren't close. That's rough. I'm sorry, but <laughs> okay. In the last shot, they they did an uh, an OTS and over the shoulder. Yeah, where the mouth motions weren't well. Her her mouth wasn't moving at all, but her yeah. dialogue was going. That's like Nina's biggest pet peeve for films because they do that in in you know real films. Yeah, too. they do. Sorry, cool costume, dude. So watch your OTSs. Even misaligned cheek motions will trigger Nina. <laughs> Fan is visually distracting. <laughs> Look at that thing. <laughs> like flopping around. <laughs> is it like two blades? <laughs> yes. A lot of great door coverage. Oh, some ramen. One moment I thought we might get some Mac in this picture. No, that would have upped the movie a lot. Saved it. She didn't play in ramen. That rack focus with a digital camera. A cheap digital camera. Yep. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what if you took it again? You live. <laughs> Die, Sammy. Uh, I like those nice hot lights out in the pointless area. Yeah, you do. <laughs> You're really adding to the ambiance. You really store the bear in the closet so obviously? That's like reasonably lit. I got like, I'm not gonna. How can you sleep at night after what you did? Not another like, uh, oh, like did the inanimate object just do something? Yeah. Am I? Having a nightmare? Yes, but you're awake for this one. What in the f Remember how I cried for you? I like the, the, the microphone recorded audio for the teddy bear and the uh, on cam for yeah. everybody else. Caved in, and my mouth was filled with red, red, red. No attempt to match it at all. No. Color. Stop it. I'd still be alive if it weren't for you, Sammy. But here I am. You catching any of this? I think it's the spirit of her dad. Is in the bear, yeah. Just stressed out over this project. All I have to do is finish this. Then I can get some rest. This took you like that much effort? But I can't. I could do that in 10 minutes. <laughs> it's a classic John Hunt animation. <laughs> yeah, two frames. Wow. <laughs> the bear. Speaking of which. The bear stopped motion to cross the floor. Paying way more attention to her shirt than. Get under the table. That'll help. <laughs> Speaking of very low frame rate animation. On the level the bear is. Leave me alone! <laughs> I had no choice! Where are we, visually? Vimeo.com. No, <laughs> like, where's the shot? This is, this is so sad. What the f*** is going on? Can you blame? <laughs> you come back here. Wumble, wumble, wumble. There you go. <laughs> yeah? Really? Back up to the table. <laughs> <laughs> this one's great. <laughs> Don't get it at all. Like somebody's depiction of events. Yes. <laughs> no! Hey, I like that shot. I have the body. That was the one good shot. I'm sure it was accidental. <laughs> I'm sure it was accidental. <laughs> I mean, you gotta stumble on a good one now and then. Yeah. Even a killer bear is right twice a day. <laughs> well, Teddy Bear, a film by Chloe Spencer. Nice work, Chloe. Yeah. Well, that was, you know, better or worse than Untitled. Is <laughs> <laughs> Untitled the rubric? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, they couldn't even title the f thing. <laughs> I'd say it's better than Binge, uh, <laughs> but it's it's right down there with Untitled. Up next, The Gnome, which is only one minute. Gnome alone. Gnomeo and Juliet. Oh look, Gloria, gnomes. Is this Gnomeo? This Juliet. Sherlock Gnomes, Gnome Alone. Did you guys win anything from that church feather, by the way? No. Uh, my mom did, but it was a horrible failure. Really? Hey, this is pretty well shot. This is super well shot. Did we talk any details about this film? Nope. Yeah, 
this is nicely put together. Yeah. Be an awful shame if a gnome showed up. <laughs> it would. <laughs> this is all very good. This is this is very nice. It has 28 views, by the way. Nice. Yep. Just when I thought I was Gnome Alone. <laughs> that guy was turned out to not be much of a threat. Gary Stag. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That was See, good. They got it done in what a minute for these short horror things. They might be better off with comedy, like every time. Remember last year there was they were cooking dicks and stuff. Yes, that was pretty funny. The Gnome is a short horror comedy which has been successful at a number of film festivals already. So it was lighting the world on fire in 2020. <laughs> Interestingly enough, there's like extensive credits on it, and all of them are people's like Instagrams. Is that the way it works now? Yeah, credits are now Instagram. I feel so freaking old as Me time too. goes on. Me too. Those times when older. This next one's the cornering short horror film. Hashtag my Annabelle creation. Now Annabelle's that I don't know it. The, the, the horror doll. My entry for the hashtag my Annabelle creation short film contest. The doll is from a film franchise called The Conjuring. This movie's called The Cornering. Some kind of a Adjacency? Seems like it was like a promotional thing. Okay. A woman has entered a white room. <laughs> this is the classic John Hunt commentary of um, uh, a young man is unwell. <laughs> we were watching this 150 movies for the Austin Film Festival and then we watched this one that we were feeling really silly during and John said, well, I mean, what can you say about this movie other than a young man is unwell? <laughs> Okay, so there's terrors behind at least two doors, it seems. <laughs> oh, it's behind every door? I'll tell you what, it's, it's not that incompetent so far, at least. Yeah, I, I, I kind of get a good sense of the space. Yeah, and like the camera motions are a little bit more precise than... Yeah, that, that kinda, yeah that's, like, that's not bad cutting. <laughs> this is all fine. Yeah, for shooting in a very confined space, it's actually... Yeah, know, it's actually well done. But she's running out of limbs. Right, so we, we understand the stakes. That's nice to put her in front of black instead of another white door. That was a little bit like not that urgent. <laughs> okay, well, I'll tell you what, that nothing happened and it's not a good movie, but you can tell that somebody understands the visual language of cinema a little they bit. They absolutely do. You can't really do anything in a minute anyway. Right, anymore. except for Gary's stag party. Yeah, <laughs> which was kind of, well, that was good. Next one's called School's Revenge. Got six freaking views. This was a college production. This is a short horror film about a student being stalked by this thing. I was the director and editor for scene three. Whoa. We're definitely shooting a movie. Hello. <laughs> definitely in a school. Framing. <laughs> Auto exposure. Yep. Exposure. Auto exposure again. Auto exposure again. Dun, 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 crooked shot. Look, the truth is, everybody has made these movies before. We sit on our high horse, snacking on our popcorn like we're something. Yeah, but this something. is college. Oh, never mind. This sucks. <laughs> <laughs> wow, a white. <laughs> at least do a clock wipe yeah. of, of the clock. Yes, that would be amazing. And actually get a, a face-on shot of the clock, you right? Know? Not like a, a a quarter one. He's out of water. Was that the idea that we were trying to relay? I don't know why it took me years to figure it out, but like. <laughs> Once somebody was like, why don't you, like, in general, make an effort to shoot people's eye lines? Oh, it was COVID time. Just get a mask. Uh-huh. There'll be a whole brief era of content that has masks in it. I mean, I know that COVID was a big deal, but doesn't it just date your art? Like, wouldn't you, like, be like, let's figure out a way to not do this with masks? Yeah. It's a wide vending machine, isn't it? Seems like a double wide. <laughs> We're zooming in on it. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> F*** it. And he's not wearing the mask correctly. Uh oh, the snacks are whispering. Remember that meme that was going around of like, you wouldn't leave you flop it out of the mask, would you? By the way, the whispering is a lot more true for schizophrenia. Is this even the same guy? You mean, <laughs> they should be clicking lamps off and on? Hmm. Oh, he's back at the computer. Not is he wearing the mask on. correctly? Nope. Oh my goodness gracious. Did you see that? That somebody like shine like for the close-up shined light a little harsher on him? Yep. It's 
Oh my. Huh. Objects falling off of table. Whoa. Do you kids have to wear lanyards at school now that say student? <laughs> that gives me an idea. Wouldn't it be amazing if you could have a, a sound triggered when you woke up your computer and it was like jump scares? Then? <laughs> that would be hilarious. I'm sure you can. I could write it. It's not. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Holy f Oh. Oh, we are flipping lights on and off. Oh yeah, this is definitely schizophrenia. <laughs> yeah. Wow. He's gonna Google it any second. Oh, come on guys, this is really schizophrenic and oh. the episodes are worsening. <laughs> School's revenge. <laughs> More like drool's revenge. <laughs> yes, did you notice that there's not an apostrophe? So it wasn't possessive? <laughs> Multiple schools are exacting revenge. Yes, they are. All right, John, you picked the 15 second one. There's no description other than the Gravedigger 15 second horror short film, 2020. Okay. Oh. We're in. Guy's took in a grave. Oh, he's still alive. This motion, yeah. Nicely shot. Huh? Never oh, mind. the guy's gone. Never mind, oh. it's not nicely shot. <laughs> <laughs> Six views. <laughs> this has but one view, and I assume it's yours. 2017, this one's 18 minutes, so we're gonna end with this one. A man hungry for power finds a sick new way to satisfy his appetite. And this looks pretty well shot. It's got English subtitles, it's not in English. Enema pictures. And enema pictures. <laughs> this town needs a enema. Bon appétit. Cool, some creative titling. Yep. Oh, is this binge too? Binge too, yeah. Yeah. Bon Appetit. <laughs> All right, this is pretty. It's much better than binge one. They're really putting a lot of emphasis, significance on their titling. Well, when they figure they've got a couple minutes, they might as well, yeah. you know. <laughs> this is not 15 second horror short film Gravedigger. No, <laughs> there was no time for titles. It's supposed to be a real like drone shot. <sighs> it's a nice shot, but like who gives a damn, right? Get in. Let's not, do this. It's not The Shining. They haven't earned that. Yeah, I'm not here to just hang out. I'm here to watch a movie and eat popcorn. I think you're still in the three minute pace. I don't know. I just watched the pilot of Andor and it was, I was just like ripping my eyeballs out. Yeah. I was like, guys, let's, let's do this, huh? Yeah. Watching a movie is not the same thing as living life in real time. <laughs> Does it need to be? <laughs> Condensing time is like a part of the art. Yeah, wasn't there like an experimental film that was like real time? It was like Andy Warhol's like Empire State Building and stuff. It's just a shot of it. The real cinephile watches the entirety of that movie. <laughs> kind of a striking actor, yeah. Yeah. Looks like they might have, that's the kind of guy you pay for. Yeah. This looks like it has some money behind it, despite its one view. Pounds or dollars? <laughs> uh, some foreign currency. I think this was made in Albania. Think of the, the price per view. <laughs> <laughs> and right now we account for all of them, I think. I know. Well, not only actors, but locations. So is it more like a visual demo? I mean, it's very boring. Don't you feel like uh, some obligation to, like, like you know. Well, I, I don't know if it's, I think it's setting the stage. There's this new thing that people like to say, or for the past few years, like, it's a slow burn. And I'm like, well, surely there's a difference. I think it's being atmospheric. Between a slow burn and nothing happening. I don't think 17 minutes is enough time to luxuriate like this. No. No. Well, they probably have like a six minute idea and they're stretching it. I'm not watching a celebrity. Like there, there's, there's no promise here of like, oh, I'm sure it will get good. You gotta grab them. But very nicely shot. Nicely lit too.
lots of visual significance. Good evening, sir. I must say, we are honored by your visit. So this is the famous place. Not that famous, I hope. This is a temporary place. Chosen only for you, sir. You won't be able to find us here again. Can you guys see that subtitles from here? I can see it when it's on dark backgrounds. Yeah. <laughs> How are you feeling, sir? New return. Of course. Do you know what uh, locale this is from? I, I think it's like I said, an Al Albanian production. Whoa. But I don't know what the language, what language is. I wonder what the film industry is like in Albania. It's very important, sir. I just say so. Selling his soul type hmm. stuff? I don't know. I didn't date you. Thank you. Oh, and uh, finally, I'm starving. He signed over his soul, now he can finally get some dinner. Or a non-disclosure, now he can eat humans or something? I think we might be heading that direction, Nina. <laughs> it's quite the... <laughs> Maybe it's this. <laughs> I'm sure you're right, too. That's the f***ed up part. I'm simple. Yes. I'll leave it up to you. My impression on you. A cannibal NDA? Yeah, might be cannibal NDA. This might be the way the extremely rich eat other people. This is the exact process they use, Frankie. We would love to show you our fully managed service offering. <laughs> uh, we would assign a customer success person to you um, that could feed you any body part. If, if you just want to call us and say, hey guys, kind of hungry, want to eat some people. Um, Let's meet totally in a, uh, an abandoned cinema, abandoned theater. 17. 17. 17, and you're ready. 17, you're ready. That was two puffs and a crust. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think Nina might have nailed it. I think you're right, Nina. This is why Nina was so good at standard, standardized tests. It's <laughs> able to kind of figure she out doesn't even need to, um, where you're headed. She doesn't even need to read the full story. She can already tell. I know what they want me to know. That's right. So. <laughs> it even tastes good. Why does everybody throw caution to the wind with white text on white back? I mean, I don't think people really understand how to do subtitles is the thing. Like, they got the translation and the styling was an afterthought. A tasteful black stroke around the text. Indeed. Or a black shadow, if you must. Sometimes I go and do both. I'm feeling gratuitous. I like this little camera motion they got going here. This kind of pull up and in thing. It's pretty good right. Albanian film. Yeah. All right, so it's... it's settled <laughs> in a really nice place. The potato of a human. Human heart. They actually look kind of nice. It I'm sure tasty. it's just a mold with yeah. like gelatin and chocolate. How does Nina know these things? Nina was involved in the production of this film. <laughs> <laughs> She's Slavic. That's how she knows all the things about Is Albania it. Slavic? Nina was the first AD. <laughs> oh, 
I'm the double AD. <laughs> the double DP. The double DP. <laughs> <laughs> They're having a minor electricity problems at this. Well, there's probably a schizophrenic person. <laughs> yes. I think there was something in what he signed. He didn't read it carefully enough, and he's going to be like the next victim. I see. He seems to really be enjoying his heart. It's a pay it forward model. Yes, maybe it is. You eat them, they eat you. Everybody has Everybody a nice Everybody has a, has a snack. Do you remember that IT crowd episode where, like, they... <laughs> did you see the one where the German wanted to eat her? Yes. And <laughs> they, they had a grand misunderstanding about the whole thing. I see where the confusion was. I thought this was a cookery course. <laughs> no, no. But you were looking for someone who would agree to let you kill and eat them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Great show. Mm. Gluttonous. Edo started wounded, equal. And the last soldier's gone. It was very delicious. Sindhini, Zotri. How are you feeling, sir? You're it, or? Hungry. Mon proi di scandrusha. Sigurist. Sibu play. Potishana vandin tu ai Zotri. Duda kisha hechur ata. Toilette is no fund corridorit. Nice. They're telling him to disrobe? Okay. Take your top off. You know, take your top off. Take your top off. You heard me. Take your top off. But I think it's a trap. Do you, do you really think we're going that way, Nina? Nina, tell me everything that happens in this movie. I understand the auditor. You stop that trap. Day has broken. Oh. He needs a good headlamp. He does. It's John walking around. <laughs> Big headlamp. A73. <laughs> Excuse me. My human hot. Um. Ah, it was a little raw. <laughs> so he fell asleep at the table? The trope of like the the kind of all knowing evil butler slash wait it's staff. A thing, isn't yeah, it? maybe like the bartender from The Shining. Right, must it tram client at you? You're your Austin Rig. They're kidding on The last shot was kind of cool. I mean, all the shots are pretty cool. Yeah, it's, it's definitely well shot. Is that what the movie is called? Bon Appetit? Yeah, Bon Appetit. <laughs> hey, are we just going to dig in? This may not be suitable for children. <laughs> Viewer discretion <laughs> is advised. We needed a warning way earlier. Ray, than the... Rated T Oh my God, tea. can you imagine if poor little Gloria saw any of this <laughs> shit? <laughs> she's got a real thing about brains for some reason. Like she, you know, she's like, oh, that might hurt my brain. <laughs> so the she's idea is... Like grossed out by them. And she also, like, yeah, it, like, captures her imagination, the idea that you could have your head severed. Yeah. I didn't, like, introduce the concept to yeah. her. She's like, what if they cut my head off? Like, it just, like, occurred to her organically? Yeah. I remember that like, when I was a kid. I was like, I guess, like, you could, like, slice my head off. Anyway, I think if she saw a movie where a, a fellow was just snacking out... On a brain? <laughs> on a severed head. <laughs> it would oh. really disturb her. Honestly, it's disgusting. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I mean, she's right. We're wrong. <laughs> no, we're the no sickos. No one should watch it. It's our schizophrenic episodes that are worsening. <laughs> yes, we are the one who should be Googling. <laughs> mm. 
which was the twist in that movie as well. <laughs> he seems to be in a state of bliss. Yeah, well, look, have you ever had brain? Never. Uh-oh. This is too vulnerable for anybody. Shirtless and... It's quite the imagery yeah. that every kind of shot evokes in this. This, this. this feels like it has real meme material. Me when I... Yeah. Me when I eat your brain. <laughs> Why is the butler, like, checking his spine for scoliosis? Because he's the next victim. Did they, like, poison the brain? Was it poison brain? Sir, I need to get you to the school nurse. I think you might have a misalignment of the vertebrate. <laughs> he has to line up in the locker room with all the other men. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, and bend over. And you too. And you too, sir. And then the head license inspection happened. <laughs> I used to love the head license inspection because it was like a little scalp massage. He did kind of do it. Oh, nice. He's a politician. Of course. Isn't it funny that like, this is like a little bit of a stereotype? Like the, the seedy, you know, going ons of, of politicians. Oh, oh, they, politicians. The people world over are like, I bet these... Politicians are snacking on brains. Snacking on brains in abandoned theaters. I mean, they're so weird. He's got a little bit of an Albanian Cuomo thing going for him. <laughs> he does. <laughs> like an off, like an off-market Cuomo. He was at the French Laundry <laughs> eating brains. Can avoid putting your tarme a coma and dress. Under the cabinet team, Jim Burgessi Morale, but first two were progressing in his work at the Vietnam War. Some woman running against him, is she going to also eat the body and get power? They're at a backyard wedding. So the president just crash going to here. Maybe he's eating the opposition voters. He's going to be chasing mm. that high of eating human heart for the rest of his life. It won some awards, like a bunch of awards. Hello. Icelandic Horror Film Festival, yeah. Best International Short. Good job, Bon Appetit. That was a pretty good movie. I, I thought it was good. Yeah, I thought that the start was a little slow, but I'll forgive it. I think it was really trying to work to build an ambiance that I think it did succeed at eventually. It's got a jazzy song here, too. What do you think of our, our outdoor lineup? I enjoyed it. I had fun. It's one of my favorite things to do every year. Uh, let us know what was your favorite in the lineup. I think my favorite... Binge. Binge. <laughs> with all the coverage. Don't do that in your movie, please. Please don't. Do what this movie did. Yeah. Come up with like a slightly original idea. It's not that original, but it's like pretty original. Yeah. It's all execution. You know, shoot things carefully and thoughtfully. Maybe don't get college kids to be the actors. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe get like people who look kind of like cut rate, you know, Andrew Cuomo. <laughs> a monkey needs to dance, so do you.